March. March this year feels fresh and new. It's spring, and it feels like a new start. January and February felt really rough, honestly. In the beginning, I felt super, super inspired, but then once February hit, I felt like a lot of things slowed down mentally. I had no energy for like two weeks, and I didn't really do much. But mental breaks are needed, and I've got so many exciting things happening this month, and I'm ready to move forward and let go of things holding me back. So, here's to opening the door for new opportunities. Now we're going to start planning for March. I really don't know when things are happening in March, so I'm probably just going to like, I normally just like lay out some ideas and put them either in the empty spaces or like I put them on a week that I want to work on it. Feels green, you know. Um, what's in March? St. Patrick's Day. And spring. Me and Maya are doing shoot number one of the month. Um, so we're setting up. I'm borrowing her dog and her. Um, Might see you get treats where's today. gonna try the dog hair and skin you think it's making our hair and skin nice <laughs> yeah it has like a bunch of vitamins chia seeds omega-3 where's the one it's peanut butter okay we're gonna try this cheers mugly <laughs> Um, so I'm using this camera to vlog today because I'm obviously shooting. Um, so we are at Palace of Fine Arts and we're gonna have a picnic before we have to shoot for the rest of the day. And obviously I brought my trusted assistant, the person I feel most comfortable with helping me out. Um, this is a really nice day, like. Yeah, like we, we're always like in luck when it comes to the city for some reason. <laughs> I believe my childhood best friend is engaged. <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> That's a wrap on this photo shoot today. My hands are freezing, but I really like this last location. Might be my favorite one. We will come back here. Now we're deciding where we're gonna eat because <sighs> getting a little hungry. Yeah, all we ate to do was fruit. <laughs> Whoa, that's really good. Yeah. My hands be cold. I like it. See, isn't oh, my bird cute? <laughs> look! Oh look! Wow! The assistant. <laughs> or... Uh, isn't it that way? Or is it? I don't know. I'm not good with directions. Yeah, I think it's down that oh, way. Okay. Because the bridge is that way, so it has to be that way. Oh, okay. Okay. You think we can make it? <laughs> <laughs> I meant like... <laughs> I forgot we were recording. <laughs> I'm at like coldness. Why? <laughs> well, isn't how many like 
miles. It's like point two miles or so. Okay, let me put my jacket on. Should I put your snow pants on? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so dramatic. But look who took over my office. How cute. Um, I got Barb some Starbucks this morning, which is very out of character for me. I didn't get Starbucks, but um. Why are you holding it? You know. I just had to be, hold on, I need to stay far, I need to go farther away. I just had to be, you know, the best little sister there is. Is it pillows? Yeah. Um, today is March 16th. Um, I have, I think I have a few exciting things planned. I'm eating brekkie. I'm probably gonna try to make a separate video on this. Um, but me and Daniela are doing monthly journaling, and so we're gonna have a whole month of April planned out if anyone cares to join us. I think me and Daniela are really different, but really similar in some ways. Like, our interests are really different, but there's one thing that we're both passionate about. It's, like, mental health. So, um... Like, this journaling thing was just something to help better both of us. And now we're kind of like, oh, why don't we release a whole calendar of it and see if anyone would like to join. So she's going to have stuff on her stream planned. Um, and I'll probably send y'all there. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's exciting. And I'm getting vaccinated. Sorry. I'm getting vaccinated tomorrow. Um, so that's exciting, too. I'm filming Facello's birthday video today. Um, I'm trying to be extra as fuck, but I don't know. I don't know if I can be. Um, I meant to vlog yesterday. Not just vlog, but I meant to like film something, but I got my COVID vaccine and I, you know, not a lot of people have told me that they got symptoms after the first one. Um, maybe like two people have and then the other people that have gotten it, they told me they didn't feel anything or feel much after the first one. So I didn't think I would feel anything, um, but I got super super tired that's like the one thing that i felt um like on the way home i was driving and i feel like i was driving kind of like carelessly because i was so tired and normally like you know i could fight through some of like my tiredness but i was sitting here journaling and i couldn't even like gather my thoughts to what i was journaling so yeah i was super tired so i just went to bed and it was like <laughs> 1, 1 p.m. Um, but I mean, I didn't fall asleep or anything. I just stayed in bed and then like just wrote it out because I was tired. I didn't get a fever. I mean, I was cold, but uh, it's nothing new for me. Oh, I was super dehydrated too. I don't know if I was just dehydrated, but I feel like I normally drink a lot of water. And I was drinking the same amount of water, but I was still so like, I need water. And then I'm gonna try this like, I guess it's an energy drink. There's a lot of caffeine in it. So I'm probably just gonna sip it just cause I wanna try it. It's like vegan, gluten free, all of that shit. <laughs> so this is not recommended for people sensitive to caffeine. Maybe I shouldn't drink it, but I really wanna try it cause my sister said it was good. I'm just gonna try it and Probably not finish the whole thing. Okay. I feel like that's a good amount. My sister said she didn't feel the caffeine at all, but I'm pretty sensitive to caffeine, so. It's not bad. Like, I feel like I like the fizziness of it, but don't know if I would buy it again, actually. I just stick to tea and coffee. My blackout curtains up, so you know I'm gonna shoot something. And I thought I haven't vlogged me shooting something in a while, and it's not a photo shoot. It's actually gonna be on this channel. Um, 
Daniela and I are making those journal prompts, like I said. Yeah, we're making journal prompts for April and we just wanna encourage others to start journaling because journaling has like helped both of us a lot. Um, with, I had a lot of that. Well, I didn't even have a lot of this caffeine, this thing. And I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's affecting me a lot. So yeah, if you're caffeine sensitive, it, it's, it tells you don't drink it, but yeah, I thought, you know, having only a little bit would, you know, just give me a little like boost, but now I'm kind of like, whoa, that's like, kind of a lot. Um, so I'm kind of distracting myself by doing all the other tasks that I have to do. Anyway, Daniela and I are going to be having um, a little calendar of journal prompts throughout the month and we're probably going to have like a focus goal of something in April. Um, so it's probably out by now, so check that out if you want to, please. Like, Daniela and I really think that like journaling has helped us so much, so if it could help anybody else out there, like, you know, join us and join her Discord because we're all going to be probably sharing some excerpts on there. Um, if you're comfortable, I mean, I've only shared a few things and some things I'm only sharing like a paragraph, so like, Whatever is most comfortable to anyone who wants to join, like, I mean, you could even do it by yourself. You don't have to tell us that you're doing it. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it would help someone out there who wants to start journaling. And I also want to say, like, don't ever be so hard on yourself for not, like, being consistent with journaling because you can't really be consistent with, like, anything. I mean, like, I guess, like, basic stuff like eating. I don't know. Even eating is hard, so, um... You don't have to journal every day. You could just pick prompts that you like and journal then. And then if you find that you like doing it every day, then you can pick it up. And if you don't, you could do it once a week or yeah, at least you tried. So yeah. Today's shoot theme is 34-35, um, so I'm trying to make my room, at least just like my bed part, look like a hotel. <laughs> um, or maybe not exactly like a hotel, but like, you know, kind of bouge, because I don't think I can get that full hotel look. Um, I'm going to use, honestly, I think I'm going to use a lot of fucking props, um, which makes setting up really hard. Um, but you know, we'll see. I'm gonna go grab my backdrop and then probably pick some, some fabric for the background. I don't know why, it just looked smoky in the kitchen for some reason. And then I'm gonna shoot in like a few different like places of the house. Um, and you know, we'll see how it turns out. Half the <laughs> Half the time that I shoot things, it's just, it looks good in my mind. Um, and then I just try to execute it. So... clip saved but if it did y'all saw me drop the whole camera because of this fucking backdrop so yeah that's how today's going i'm just kidding i'm having a pretty good day i'm 
All right, so this is my setup. Notice my soju bottles. Um, instead of champagne, because I don't have any champagne. And then this is like my curtain. And then I have like satin pillows. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but let's let's try it. I guess for like my second scene, um, since we're still on this 34-35 vibe, I am using the piano because like in the video, they have like, like it looks like vintage and like antique and like the old TV. Um, what else do they have? It's like the old TV and then like the older hotels, not like modern looking hotels. So I don't have an old TV anymore. So I thought, why don't I use the piano instead of like sitting on a TV that I don't have. Um, yeah, let's see how this turns out. Done. It's the worst part where you have to clean up everything. But I'm really hungry, so I'm trying to clean up fast. I don't know why I turned on the vlog. <laughs> um, I'm just getting ready to film the journaling video. Um, yeah, so I finally finished like the calendar yesterday. I just, um, Daniela sent me over her prompts and yeah, so <clears throat> I'm just going to send her the file so she can proofread and edit, then we're done, and then I'm gonna talk about it. And then, um, also, I don't think I talked about it yet on this, on the vlog at all, but by now, my website is now live, and it'll be in the link below, or the, the description box below. That sounds so weird to say. I don't really talk to the camera much, but, um, yeah, so my website is up. It's kind of just like a whole portfolio of all the work I've done so far and I'm pretty proud of it. I've worked on it for like three months. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, I hope you check it out and find something that you like. I mean, I guess that's all I could hope for. I mean, if you don't like it, um, don't tell me. <laughs> but if you have suggestions, nice suggestions, I'm kind of sensitive. Okay, now I'm gonna send this file to Daniela. I'm just gonna write a little outline for what I'm gonna say in the journaling video itself just because I'm not good at speaking without like a, a thing, uh, an outline. That's why like in my videos, I either speed up myself talking or I cut a lot of the shit that I've said out. Like it's probably like a 10 minute video and I will probably only include like two minutes of it because I don't like what I'm talking about or I just sound, I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. My brain is always like, has like 10 different tabs open. Um, I mean like, yes, at times it's like anxious thoughts that are like having my tabs open, but sometimes it's just the fact that like, I'm so excited to do a lot of projects that that's why I have a lot of tabs open, you know? All by the talented Aurora. Oh man, it's cut off. So, 
you know, some mornings I like to work out, but some mornings when I don't feel like working out in the morning, I'll work out later and I'll just eat breakfast because I'm kind of hungry. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll have like avocado toast again. That was pretty good yesterday. I'm gonna do my makeup. Um, you know, even though I don't go out, I really like to do my makeup. Well, one, because I feel like when I put at least like one layer of like my tinted moisturizer on, there's like a, a barrier protecting my skin from like germs. I also hope that people are tuning into the mental health streams. I mean, of course, like if anything or any topic is triggering, please do whatever you need to do and don't watch. Um, but if you think you could, it could help you and in some form, then I don't know. I really hope you try to tune in. For me, I know that I'm not at my lowest point anymore. I'm actually doing really, really well at this point. But <clears throat> I know that when I was going through whatever I was going through, that the topics that Daniela is talking about and that like we all as a chat are like, you know, we're going back and forth and having an open conversation. It feels really nice to know like you're not alone and that like when I was going through this stuff, like it would have been really, really nice to hear that like that voice saying all of this stuff too. Um, just like as a reminder. Um, and then also like as an outsider who isn't struggling, I really, really suggest like if you don't know how to help your friends, I think that like this can kind of give you a little perspective of their side and what it's like to go through. Um, I mean, last week's topic was depression and then we had another topic about anxiety. But just like getting a better understanding of your friends and maybe your partner um, of like what it's like to go through this and maybe it'll help you out. And then for the journaling, like I really hope that like you take whatever works for you. Um, take whatever prompt, whatever challenge it is that you want to join in on. You don't have to do everything like, like I said in the video. Um, it's just a nice way to get your feelings out in some shape or form. So, yeah.